Hey there everyone, Filcho here and welcome to my channel. The farm that we receive at the start of our journey in Starry Valley is basically like an empty canvas, which we can create our own masterpiece on it. For myself, I can't say that I'm an expert decorator since I usually go for the maximum efficiency where I can earn a lot of gold for every single tile used, but sometimes even I make some neat looking places without much use in the game, like the park I made on my main farm. I have seen some of the farms on the internet, and my skills for that pale in comparison by a lot, but I still find my own ways of making my own farm look the best for me. Today I wanted to talk about some of the tips you can use in planning and building on your own farm, while going for your own preferred aesthetic look. The first and really important tip I have for everyone out there is to check out the Stardew Valley Planner, which offers a really unique view of all of the farm layouts before you begin and you can plan out your layout for the future on that specific farm, having an already set design and goal which can help you a lot. I will leave a link for it down in the description below, so feel free to check it out. The second tip that I have for all of those new farmers out there is always plan out your routes on the farm as soon as you begin. The routes are important for you, so you have unobstructed access to all of the areas in the game since the breeze and grass will spawn on the farm all the time and it will make you waste precious time in constantly clearing it to get to a certain place. Placing flooring will always be to your advantage for multiple things like it will stop the breeze or weeds from spawning on the set pad or the player will have a higher movement speed while walking on the floor since walking on the dirt or grass will have a lower movement speed in general. Also by using flooring to make some specific routes for your farm, you can also plan out the layout for future buildings depending on the farm type you have chosen. But always try to diversify the types of flooring you use on the farm to make the farm feel more alive since some areas will need a different material like an orchard you can use a pebble flooring while for around the buildings you can go for a more solid material like the stone or wood pad. And all of those mixed up make the farm seem more vibrant and not just one monotone color. You can just play around for the most part with all of the different flooring you have available and try to go for the design which for you looks just right. The next tip that I have is while getting the animal buildings from Robin, plan out the layout for them and after building all of those, make the perfect enclosure for the animals. Here you have two choices where you can go for the basic square enclosure or you can work a bit more getting a more unique one where you try to create a different look which will consist of a lot of corners with a lot of decorations. This type of enclosure may be a bit different from the normal one but sometimes using this can make the game feel more alive and it will give you more interesting space to work with allowing for more decorations and ideas to be created and fulfilled. For the most part, I always go for a straight fence, making a huge square for all of my animals. But sometimes, I like to add a couple of curved fences to make it seem a bit more different than usual. And this at least lets me create even more better looking farms for myself. Another tip which should make designing your farm much more easier is the furniture catalog, which you can buy from Robin's place for 200,000 gold, which is quite expensive but it will allow you access to most of the furniture in the game, which is going to be perfect for all of your design needs. Before getting access to this, you will have to buy furniture that Pierre sells at festivals or by just visiting the traveling merchant and hoping for the best. Also from the 1.5 update we could move our greenhouse and paint our buildings in different colors, both of which are found at Robin's place. And I can say for sure, these were really great additions to the game and they allow us to have more creative freedom on our farms. The next tip I have for designing the perfect farm is growing less crops to have more real estate to work with. This is a bit of a weird tip, but sometimes having too much crops will just make your farm look too bland, even while you're earning a lot of gold. For the first years I can see this as a really stable income, and I would always suggest on having as much as farming space as possible, since you will be earning a lot of gold in the process. But after a while, when you reach the end game and want to focus on the look of your farm, changing some spots and lowering the farming land would be a really good idea. Introducing flooring between farming spots with sprinklers will break the monotone color and add more to the farm, making it seem more intriguing and nice. 
this won't have much of an effect on earning gold, but when you're towards the end game, you won't even have to focus much to get a lot of gold from wine, preserve jars, ginger islands, and more. So this will be a really nice idea to try out. But the end result is all yours, since your taste and ideas will make your farm idea come to life and stand out from the rest. The main point is while creating something, you as the creator need to just enjoy it the most. The next tip I have is something that concerns the night in Sardew Valley. During the day, you have no issue in moving around and making pets and farming, but when the clock hits 8 pm, it gets really dark out there, lowering your vision and making you need to sleep faster to greet the new day. To offset this, it's best to use torches or lampposts to at least add more lighting to the game, turning the night into day. This is possible when you have most of the recipes for the braziers or lampposts from Robin Shop, and all of them are quite unique in their own design. So, choosing the one you want the most depends on your own choice, since there is no correct choice at all. Every light source has its own different design, but for the most part, on my farm I use lampposts, since I love the range on the light and their own look makes the farm more interesting. I also use a few of the braziers around as well, on some random locations, which only have those, making that place more unique. Torches can also be added on fences, which make them a better choice if you have a long fence around your farm, while for lampposts you would have to destroy some fencing in order for it to be in a straight line. So for fences, the torches are a way to go. And as a little honorary mention for all of those debris haters out there, like me, getting the golden clock from the wizard is a lifesaver, where no debris will spawn on the farm anymore leaving you to work with all the land you have without any worries, it will get damaged by debris. But the price for it can be quite expensive, so you need to get a lot of gold to be able to build it on your farm. And for the trees spreading their roots everywhere, the best way to prevent it is just by adding flooring around every tree, which will prevent any future ones from appearing. Well everyone, that's it for all of my tips on making your farm more unique and interesting. I hope this video helped you, since designing farms in Sardew Valley and later on creating the same farm is something of an art. Your canvas, which is the farm, is empty as you start off, but as you move along and make your ideas into reality slowly bit by bit, that farm will change to match the masterpiece you have envisioned. What do you think about the tips I gave and do you have some of your own to add on the video? Let me know down below since it can help me a lot of the new players out there. In any case, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe to it since it will help me out a lot and it's totally free. I hope you will have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe.